slap, are you? Australian legends. Hey! Sir, can you knock? What's up everyone? Adam from FWCI Shits Creek, Season 5, Episode 5, House Warming. Uh, Patrick's house? His, um, his new apartment? Is that what's going on? Somebody else moving into the thing? I don't know. Probably Patrick, I'm guessing. If you want early access to my Shits Creek reactions, patreon.com slash FWCI is where you can get it for $5 readers a month. It's all it costs. And, uh, what was in the last episode? What were we up to? Oh, it was the, the dress. That's right. Moira has her dress. Uh, did she end up returning it or not? I think she was going to, but she's got something coming up with this movie. The Crowning or The Crows Have Eyes Part 3 is still lurking around in the plot and the overall story of this series. Alexis and Ted are imperfect, but they seem to be in harmony at the moment, which is good, as the same goes with Patrick and David. And you know what? The same goes with Johnny and Moira, Roland and um, and Jocelyn, and probably Mutt and whoever he's with right now. Um, I think Bob and Gwen is just straight up hostile. I don't think they have a good relationship at all. Bob... You need to get out of there, mate. Don't forget to hit the like button during this video as well. That helps push it out to more people and I want to get as many eyes as I can on Shit's Creek as we smash through this season and get up to the next three? How many seasons is this? I'm well organized, uh, aren't I? The next season is the final season. Holy shit. I didn't even realize we were that close to the end of it. I thought it was eight seasons, but it looks like it's six. So we're getting pretty close to the end of Shit's Creek and I've been loving this show. So let's jump into the episode, season five, episode five, Housewarming. We've just been running around looking for Alexis. <laughs> so sweet, what's up? Remember that time that you told me you'd be there for me if I ever needed you? Oh shit. Oh shit. But unfortunately, the couple that massages us can only do it once a month. David, is Patrick also going to that housewarming party? Patrick's throwing the party, unfortunately. Well, Rolly, we're just going to have to cancel because we have asked literally everyone. Have you asked literally everyone? What about Twyla? What's she doing? A nighttime couples massage. What is this, 1985? No, they <laughs> ask everyone at the table except us. We're sitting right here. They're not going to ask someone of your age, John. We raised two kids. Raised so, might be a stretch. Yeah, I agree her. with that. That's quite a top you've got on there, Moira. Why in God's name would you do that? It's a principal thing. Oh, wait, I, okay, Johnny's offering to look after Moira shit. And um, I'm just blinded by this top she's wearing. I'm more than capable of looking after this kid myself. John, my sweet husband. You know what, Johnny? Have a crack. <laughs> See how it goes. He will have the baby binder to hold his hand. Right here, Johnny. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be this worried about him looking after a kid. Looking so elegant for a night of babysitting. Just dressed to the nines in choking hazards. <laughs> so it's just going to be Johnny alone with our precious miracle baby? Wow, this is a very small apartment to be having a housewarming in, but I have had a party in a one-bedroom apartment and it did not go well. It was summer. I ended up passed out in the toilet. My partner, she was ended up passed out in the bedroom. It was just stupidly hot. It was like overheating. It was fucked. Besides, people are kind of excited about the high school idea. Okay. So now we're having a high school themed um, housewarming party. A fun opportunity for you to rewrite your past a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's just that my parents have spent like an astounding amount of money on therapy to try to do that already. So forgive me for not wanting to run back into the fire. What happened to you? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. That is a good question. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Who is he looking at off camera just then? <laughs> okay, there's got to be an extended version of that scene. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Oh, oh. Hello, Alexis. Shouldn't I be the one saying that? A little something to celebrate the end of the week. Mm. Yeah. Ted, Ted, look at you, buddy. You're doing all right with for yourself. 
we could go as Hef, R.I.P., and a Playboy bunny. Isn't the theme high school slumber party? It is. My best friend's summer- No, why was Hef- Oh god. Why was Hef at your slumber party? I guess I'll just finish my drink and wander over there dressed like this and see what happens. <laughs> That's not a good idea, Alexis. You do realize the baby is crying? I do, yes. Isn't it scheduled to be dormant by now? I'll figure it out, Moira. Isn't it scheduled to be dormant? <laughs> wow, Moira. Wipe counterclockwise direction and uh, flip it if you can flip it. The baby? Doesn't say. Don't forget to wash its hands. Okay. Wow, they are really struggling through that whole situation there, aren't they? That was kind of sad and a little bit awkward. I pretended to be a pizza delivery person so I could get into Jared Leto's Halloween party. You're a bitch. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to think of something I haven't done. Okay. How long do you envision this game going on? Yeah, is this really a game to play in like a big group of people at a party? <laughs> Ted's in the house. What's going on, Hef? Push all my morning appointments, which will be fine, I guess. Just means that I'll be staying up till 1 a.m. on a Saturday, spaying with a pretty shaky hand. Oh, so oh Jesus, that doesn't sound good. The only alcohol left in my fridge was a few of your rum raspberry coconut coolers. So I just polished them off and it tasted like burnt plastic and everything. Is Ted an alcoholic? What is going on there? That, sorry, something about that just hit a little bit weird. Twyla! I'm not sure if it's the punch, but he could get it. <laughs> yeah, Ted did get um, significantly jacked. Oh, now they play. Oh, right, it's a slumber party theme. I get it. But you're not teenagers now. You got shit to talk about. <laughs> And relationships and marriages and stuff, I'm sure. <gasps> God. <laughs> when we were teenagers, this stuff was like the most exciting thing that could ever happen. All right, who's the lucky lady? Oh, no. Is it... That's offensive. No, 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 no. I know exactly who oh, it landed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come here, big guy. <laughs> 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 it's like the punch needs a refill. Oh, hey, I could use refills. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Patrick's not happy about this. Okay, my turn. Yeah, there's a lot of drama <laughs> in the background there. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about the kid. To think this little thing could create so much destruction. <laughs> destruction? <laughs> and he spit up in the playpen. Ooh, that cannot be good, John. I think that's pretty normal, isn't it? <laughs> what did you do to it? Nothing. I, I changed his diaper, that's all. Well, perhaps you've swaddled its abdomen too tightly. Why does Moira keep referring to it as it? I could be at Ronnie's right now preparing for the post-screening Q&A. Well, then go to Ronnie's, because I've got to get him a change of clothes. And even And in her own crazy way, Moira is being quite maternal at the moment. Jocelyn's written, spit happens. Very clever. For Jocelyn. <laughs> no worries, Moira. Oh. Now, as an attractive and popular kid at a house party, I can confidently say... That's what he was saying. That's what Patrick was saying. He's like, you could rewrite your history. Well, here you go, Patrick. Mm, things got effed and we're not having fun anymore. For what it's worth, I am having a great time. I know you are, Stevie. <laughs> what exactly did I do wrong here? Oh, I don't know, David. Mm, was it the time you kissed my boyfriend, or...? During Spin the Bottle, though. I mean, what do you do? Yeah, David, like, what would you do if Patrick and I suddenly kissed at a party? Yeah. Or Patrick and me. We're done with you. <laughs> Stevie, stop creating more shit. And spun the bottle and it landed on you and you guys kissed? I wouldn't care. <laughs> You're lying, David. <laughs> what was that face? <laughs> okay, here we go. Hmm. I don't think Patrick wants to do this though, does he? Well, I guess Ted doesn't either. Mm. Mm. Yum. That was fun. <laughs> Yum, that was fun. <laughs> Satisfying. I was never not okay. Yeah. It was really good for me. 
I say we play truth or dare. <laughs> Stevie, Stevie, stop putting fuel on the fire. Ooh, that was messy. That was messy. That's the first, like, real messy drama we've seen with them. What do you think we've learned here today? That Adelina was grossly underpaid. <laughs> yeah, probably. She probably was. Not without my cousin. <laughs> Not without my cousin. <laughs> John. Poor John. He is absolutely rooted right now. Uh, hello. Rick. Yeah, shh, he's sleeping. <laughs> oh, jeez. Look at him. You know, I almost think I like him better asleep than awake. <laughs> what? Good work, Roland. God damn it. That was very, very nice, though. Very humble for Johnny. You know, he's, he's had a big journey. Especially from his whole life. Uh, even before the show starts, kind of like. Maybe I overreacted for a second. I was just talking to Alexis and we sort of wound each other up. Stevie didn't help. Stevie never helped. <laughs> yes, yeah, Stevie definitely added to that. <laughs> Fine, he's a handsome guy. I might have been a little jealous. So you think he's handsome then? What? <sighs> he's <Yeah>. like... <laughs> Jim. Oh my God. Wow, okay, so when you said you were jealous, were you saying you were jealous of him or jealous of me? Because I thought you were saying you were jealous of him. David. Both. <laughs> How jealous were you? Nope. Skill of one to ten. Like ten. Three, he was four, instantly five, over the line. <laughs> Tonight, I'm not kissing you after you kissed my brother. <laughs> Who kissed your brother? Okay. Oh, ted doesn't even know he did it. Yeah, I, I'm starting to worry about Ted and his drinking, to be honest. Okay, okay, okay. I think we should just, like, sleep it off. Okay, okay, okay. Is it maybe not an alcoholic, but just a, not a pleasant drunk? Oh, <laughs> ew, 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 ew. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> I'm there with Alexis and Ted and um, Patrick and David. It seems like all has been forgiven, but yeah, I was a little bit worried there at one point. I was like, oh no, we've never seen these two in this kind of like really personal conflict. Uh, up until this point so i'm glad we didn't get that because i love seeing the rose family just getting along and having fun together uh, so i'm glad we didn't go too far down that path stevie on the other hand i've got friends that are like stevie was in this episode just antagonists and people that just like to not antagonists like shit starters <laughs> that kind of thing so i enjoyed watching stevie's um joy as <laughs> she just poured gasoline on the drama fire in this one the story with johnny and moira it was very nice it was very very sweet i don't have kids of my own but i imagine if you're you know you do have kids like grown kids and you're watching this and you're already getting into the characters and you're enjoying the, the journey that everybody's on this episode may have really uh, been special to some people but i enjoyed it for what it was it was fun to watch johnny um, take on that task and then it was very sweet to watch Moira do something selfless to help him uh, do it I just thought that was a very uh, very heartwarming sweet shits creaky kind of uh, moment there but let me know in the comments what you thought about this one don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for uh, early access to shits creek Brooklyn 99 movies taskmaster full-length Taskmaster, a whole bunch of other stuff goes up on Patreon as well. Uh, Five dollar reduce a month is all it costs and it supports the channel. Or you can leave a super thanks here on YouTube, that also goes a long way. Subscribe, hit the like button if you haven't already. And as always everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends, see you in the next video, peace!